these things is that it's mostly common in our mothers, our local mothers. Is it possible we can speak a little, just a, a one minute in our local language and a way for us, just to I mean, let them know about this thing because you can understand. Because some of them, they don't really pay attention. I feel like they also need to hear what it is. So maybe so, I will tell which, them. Which, which, which portion will you want me to repeat? Um, talking about the, like, the normal stage and then the dental areas and then the dental cavity, how is that and how they could have prevented it. Okay. It's just my main thing you know, I say. Answer now, when you are a and then start to do now, because when you are a you clinic. No, I started the day. Yes, say no. It was parts. Yes, first one. No, I know. I hope. I'm going to be. I'm going to be. It's me. It's me. I hope in your life parts. I'm going to be hunting. No, I know. Talk on. I start to go. I start to go. So I won't say. Wow. Now, in no, and also so no. Over to side, then I no not know so a a shock you, no so you are a shock you, who dear, It is sound car, na a shock you, and I say, I brought a brobe, not a shock you, and I say, Oh, grandma, not in from a false so I know it in a shock. And you just say, I come feel feel no. Now say, do in the a seapan, dear. I know, dear, I know, I am with her back in the neck. I know, no, Uber Nube drew away as me now, did a drew bitch now and no, Uber you so peace cabal into my book. No, 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 Ta and your grumble and then you have the talk of my talk in your bed. Now I feel I do a bomb of toy, a pamanto, a bummelum, tomato, black, a mamele, a quatum. Ta a pamanto, no do, a chit, a pamama, a do, a do a masego because next I will not come and I fear what the abadi, Nana, you won't. Taya to grand of my cousin, I hope you ever put to a long grand room. The part of me at a machine, no room for a good machine and a bed. You could have put. After that, I can't ye, Doma to Mamma. That's the second day after the ammo. Fima no drua, no don't put you. I know I'm far fair, I bet you far fair, I swore. Can I Yes, I'm a piano dog. I know from my piano dog as a home. A tanano doom, a granano doom, a granano doom, a down, and no chicken is shared, and as a piece come out into me, I said, Oh, but as a walk at the tano and get ditched them. I know Kaka Kadama, I'm a little bumble, you're not a pet fruit. I'm a little bad, I'm a little bad, DG or tuna, I love them, make a tano dog. so so depending on the stage okay. the stage of the caca when it's in the uh, enamel like this one when it's in the enamel okay you can do if you can we can scrape up the weekend portions of it and then we'll fill it for you 
Okay, now we we'll educate you on how to keep a good oral hygiene so that it will not compress. And when it's in the dentin too, we can do a filling. Okay. Okay, but when it gets into the pole, mm. we'll either extract it and then you replace the tooth. Most people are still or, extraction. Yes. Or there's a treatment called the root canal therapy mm. where the pole will be removed from the tooth. So it's like eventually we are killing the tooth. So it will be a bite and a fan to be there. But it will be dead. The tooth will not be working. Like it's a dead tooth. Yes, but it will, it will serve its, its function. It's but it's just that the life portion of the tooth that is causing the pain, mm -hmm. the, the nerves will, are signaling your brain to make you know that there's pain. Okay. okay. So we are taking out the nerves so that you will not feel the pain again. Okay. Okay. And then we are taking out the uh, organic or the life part of the tooth so that. Um, the pain will stop and then the infection process too will stop. That's what it's called the root canal therapy. Please, I want to ask you, is it part of the extraction? Or this one is different from the extraction? It, it's different. Extraction, you are taking out the whole tooth. tooth. But that's one, the tooth will be there, but it will be there. You just you take out the, yeah, the you drill it, and then you remove the pulp out of it, and then you put uh, filling in it. So this is more like a seal. Is it like a, an operation, a surgery? It's not a surgery per se. So the, does the person feel the pain? Or you're no, 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 no. You know, every dental procedure that is painful, that involves nerves, give a local anesthesia to numb the teeth before you do it. Okay. Means. Okay. So, so this those are the treatments that we have available. To manage the yeah, car. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And then during the process, because it's an infection process, mm. you treat with uh, antibiotics and then painkillers too or analgesics. So please, before before we go to our next um, question, what do you have for what do you have to tell the people that try to manage their own caca in the house? What I've, I'll just tell you is this: look, no matter how you are an expert or you, when the caca gets to a particular thing, you cannot manage it. People do that, they will go and room, go to prayer camps, use herbal medication, but at the end of the day, you still have to come to the dental yes. clinic. So it's better you come to the or if you come yes. to the skin stage. Yes. So uh, the, uh, people think that it's maybe it's a spiritual something or whatever. I'm not against that. But you should also know that God knows that you need dentists and then a dental uh, professional. That's why he also ordained us. That is not everything that he would do by himself, but he also do some things through us. So you, it, it's good. Just come to the dental clinic. If you are not able to prevent the thing and the problem has come, you just come because you, you, you won't succeed. It won't be successful. You, you will not have to come. So don't try to treat yourself as well. Just come in once and for all. Okay, I, I want to ask another question. If we refuse to manage it or we refuse to see seek the opinions of a healthcare professional or a dentist, can can this lead to death? Yes. So with that, then we will start talking about the complications of okay. dental care. Okay. So you see, when that uh, uh, period comes mm -hmm. that you have that pain, irreversible pain, and all that, and you don't pay attention to it. What happens is that the pulp dies, okay, and then it starts forming an abscess, okay. So when it forms an abscess, the abscess cannot stay there all by itself. It spreads to the fascial space. Mm -hmm. There are some spaces in between now, uh, muscle. But when you are, when you are not sick, they are intact. But when you are sick, and then there is a pass, they can infiltrate into all those spaces, okay. So you see the picture I'm holding. That's the complication. It's a complication of the dental cavity. Okay. You get abscess, and the abscess will move from uh, uh, inside the mouth or under the tooth to the face or to the whole of your face. Mm -hmm. you, you can see this. Yes. You can see this. So then, yes. what is that white thing outside? So this thing, what has been mm -hmm. done is that the. Uh, an incision has been done. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Before incision and drainage, an incision has been done to drain the pass. Ah, okay. So this is what you. This is what will happen. Oh, okay. When you refuse to 
see the any uh -huh. when you get to that uh, uh, that stage yes okay Up. then after that when you sorry our image is disturbing i hope you will bear with me but i have to do this so that you know how serious this is okay. so when you get to this stage there are some people they still get to this stage but they still stay home and wait and do those herbal medications and apply all sorts of things to wait. So, so finally, this is what happens. This is what happens. After the abscess, you leave it, you keep applying things to stay at home. The whole place will just burst up like this and become a sore. So is it like uh, is it like an infection or like bacterial yes. infection? You see the past the pus will spread into the tissues okay. all around your neck and then uh, this is the lower something so when it's at the lower portion like on uh, the jaw it spreads down okay. when it's the upper it spreads up and down okay yeah. so this is it so the infection will spread all over the muscles and then it will break into uh, uh, an ulcer like this <laughs> okay <laughs> then uh, something like this how do you how do you yes. it? It so you, you, you will be admitted even at the stage that you get swollen this at the show mm. you get admitted and then then you have to stay uh, a long a long period in the hospital and admission and you spend one yes yes must be cleaning the wound dressing the wound all the time giving you medications antibiotics and a whole lot and if your system is not and then you with the sloughing you see you have to be sent to the theater for the dead the, uh, tissues on the tooth to be divided. Like they'll do the right here, they'll just scrape the cut those dead ones off to make the wound heal early. Okay. So you think it's just a tooth or it's just a cut between just a cut, but then they to end this way. Now you have to be sent to the theater or you spend so many months in the hospital before it gets healed. Okay. And you can't even die out of this infection. You can't even die out of uh, 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 the swelling. What does swelling does is that you see, we have our uh, uh, the windpipe close to the neck. Okay. So what happens is that when there's a lightness of the facial muscles in the neck, it can rest on your uh, windpipe, okay, your trachea, and then you can you can cease breathing. And you can cease breathing. You what happens? You are dying. Yes, so that's an emergency, so you don't joke with it. So if by God's grace you are out of this, you should turn cold. And then, so this is another thing that happens to some people. Okay, then after this, when you get ill, you get contracted, you will not be normal again. Mm. So after the healing, this is, you get deformed. Mm. Yes. Just because of caca. Just because of your tooth, or a small hole that started in your mouth that you didn't pay attention to. This will be your end stage. Or six feet. Because of caca. It's very painful. It will be very painful if because of caca. Common caca. It's a common caca. Common caca. Just your tooth. Then they will tell you that your fucking demons have killed you. It's unacceptable. No, I'm sure if you get to wherever, whether heaven or hell, whoever is there will really punish you. But how? How can you just abandon your tooth and die? Yes, come on, and destroy your destiny? No. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
not, not naturally spacious becomes like space like the uh, uh, space is created there. It tries to fill it up. Okay. So when you lose a tooth, okay, the opposing tooth, the one at the it, it's uh, a friend up there. You know they are they are together. When they are, yeah, when they, are they, they move together. So it's like a family. So if one is missing, the one up there wants to try to move it to fill the hole down there, the space down there. And those are the side two who try to move to fill up the space. So I don't know whilst they are moving, they are also pulling out of the bone and the gum. Mm -hmm. So I don't know idea, you have lost one tooth, but you are going to lose finally three other teeth. Wow. The one up and the, those that are adjacent. And it will change the uh, shape and the spaces in between all your teeth. So you have to replace, you have to put something there to mimic the tooth that you have lost. Mm -hmm. So with that you can do removable dentures. And then we have we can do fixed bridges, we can do implants, anything. We have different options. But which one is affordable? <laughs> Affordability is relative, but it depends on you. I mean, for I don't have people. Ah, so our well, mothers they are very rich. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but hey, the cost involved, the removable ones. Uh -huh. They are less expensive. Followed even the removable ones. We have the, uh, the acrylic and then the flexible one. The acrylic ones they are the lowest, oh, okay. and then they go to the flexible. Those are the removable. Oh, so then the acrylic the one is the. It's also oh. removable. Yes, yes, I know about that one, but I'm saying is that one. The price is lesser than yes, than the, the flexible. flexible. Yes, because oh, okay. the material that's used. Oh, okay. okay. And then the bridge. The bridge is fixed. That one is higher, higher. Even the bridge, you have two types. You have the PF, and personally fused to metal one, which is a bit cheaper than the zirconium. Zirconium is higher. We have some other ones that are also more expensive. And then we have the implants. That one you have to drill the jaw bone and implant. Yes, and screw it and then put that special tooth on it. Artificial tooth. Yes. But that is a permanent one. Yes. So what's the difference between the bridge and the implant? The bridge, that, the bridge, you um, you have to shave the adjacent teeth. Let's say if you have lost this tooth, you have to shave this tooth and shave this one, and then the the two things here that are called the um, abutments, they are like cups. So you have to reduce the adjacent teeth and fix it on ah. it. Then the artificial tooth itself, the one that is missing, the pointing will be in the middle. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. So it's different. That one is just it's hanging on the tooth. Mm. But with the implant, you're going to drill the jaw bone, whether upper or lower. Yes, this one is uh, this you one drill the bone. Yes, yes. Okay. So it's more expensive. It's a bit complicated mm -hmm. because you have to uh, uh, drill the bones of the jaw, uh, the maxilla, that's the upper or the lower jaw, and then it. You fix it into it and then the screw on it. Oh, you understand? So it's more complicated and then more expensive. So instead of going to bear all these kind of costs, uh -huh. it's better to, you know, see that just, of a just, just or just walk in for a dental checkup. When we do, we'll do a cleaning for you. When we are doing the cleaning, all the cavities that are hidden everywhere, they will remove everything. We will see it and then we will see the problems that are in your mouth and then we will give you your treatment plan, what you are supposed to do to prevent it from progressing into this expensive implant, bridges and denture. Because no matter what, I don't think that your natural tooth can be compared to anything. Definitely. Better strength, better comfort, it can never. So, losing your natural to this, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So, especially, I want to say this because of my own mom. Those old women who like to win bones. <laughs> like my mother, she likes to win bones. She has forgotten that she is growing. Please, there's nothing more than your natural tea. So, yeah. let us try it then. Keep it warm. So, you see the age and then, as you, as you age, the teeth becomes brittle. Okay, you are growing, your bones are growing and becoming bigger, your teeth too. 
Yeah. So when you get to that stage, you have to remove, reduce the chewing of the bones. You can choose softer bones, <laughs> but not the hard ones. Why yeah yeah yeah? You yeah. enjoyed yourself since you were young. So why you are old? So we don't pay. I remember so we don't pay. Why you are old? You take it easy. If not, your teeth will crack. Yes. Okay. Moving to our final, uh, my final question. How do we prevent it? Okay. Dental caries. Okay. So like we were saying that it is caused by bacteria, and the, the bacteria they do not get into your tooth to chew it. It is when they get this. They have food, their fuel is the sugars, the sugars, and all carbohydrates, fermentable carbohydrates. So, their process, what, what they do is that daytime, mm. you see, we are talking, we are producing saliva, we are eating, we are drinking, so they are not active. Bacteria is not active in the mouth. Mm. The, those that cause the cavities, mm. they are not active in the mouth during the day. When you are in the night, <laughs> when you are sleeping, you are, your mouth is shut, you are quiet, nothing is disturbing them. That is when they are very active. So when they when they are active at that time, the place is quiet and stable and dark for them. And then they get hold of this uh, carbohydrate food or sugar. They will work on That is when they will enjoy their party. <laughs> they will eat it, enjoy themselves, and then they digest it very well and they excrete the so acid. So you say you are sleeping, don't know people are working. People are working, <laughs> <laughs> They are sleeping, but people are active. It's a, it's a whole world in the night that comes to life. So, what you do is that you brush in the morning. Like the other day we were talking about oral hygiene right. practices. Yeah. I said something that you brush your teeth in the morning to keep your friends. Yes, family. yes. but in the night to keep your tooth. So, Brushing in the night is very, very important. That's the only way you can prevent these cavities or caca. Because in the night, when they are at the food particles, you don't wash them, you don't brush them off. They are stuck on your tooth. Mm -hmm. That is when they get this fermentable. And some people don't even brush their teeth in the night. night. Not even in the night. Some people three days before the brush. <laughs> no, 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 no. Three no, days no. before the brush. And you talk to people. Okay. So, so that is it. So in the night, I suggest that, or what I always tell my patients is that brushing in the night should be the last thing you do before you go to bed. If you think you snack in the night, you brush your teeth late. Okay. Or if you are tempted to snack in the night after brushing. Brush again. If you will not even brush with your toothpaste, at least just put water yes. in your mouth and, use the and then use the brush to clear, clear, off. clear off the sugars and carbohydrate on your on the surface of okay. your your teeth before you go to bed. Okay. So that's it. Then you cut down the intake of those carbohydrates and sugars, especially yes. the carbohydrates. It's in our food and it's not so dangerous. What is so dangerous is the, the, the sweets and then the, the sugars. And when okay. you kids really like sweets, so how do we manage that? So you are going to control them. You control them. And then you, 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 you let them learn how to brush the night. Okay. The sugars is not only about their teeth, it's about their health. Their health. These days, uh, juvenile diabetes is yeah. on that right. It's all the kind of food we give our children. We give them too much fizzy drinks, too much sweets. Just, I don't know whether to show that we are enlightened or it's just. To show that we love them so much. We love them so much. So, no, 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 no. That's, that's not appropriate. So, you cut down on the sugars. Okay. And you take a lot of vegetables and fruits and to replace it rather. It's good. So, that's how you prevent it. You just. So this is an equation. Once you take this step off, you are free. Once you take off the sugar. Every day we take breakfast. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Daytime you are fine. Yeah. But in the night, you finish eating your banku. Banku, you don't chew it. If you don't chew it, right? You chew it fine. But you, after eating late in the night, you don't brush. Some of us even in the night. Some people biscuits. Take drinks, middle of bread. Those one, you know, there are some food that are sticky. Yeah. You know, some carbohydrates, yeah. they are not sticky. 
Yeah. But there are some that are sticky. Yeah. When you eat, you can actually feel that. When you can, when you look at it, so you, you see that it's being stuck on the teeth. Yeah. Those ones, you have to clear them off. Okay, so you cannot you cannot joke with brushing in the night. This is the only way you can save yourself from the caca. Thank you so much for coming to me. I really enjoyed today's episode. Like, it's very dope. Thank you so much for coming. You're most welcome. <laughs> so, um, next week, what are we going to discuss? We're going to do periodontal disease. That what people call bleeding gum. Okay. Yeah, that's the first sign of periodontal disease bleeding gum. That's okay. what people see. So, we are going to talk about periodontal disease and then. The first sign, which is bleeding gums. Yeah. So we are going to discuss bleeding gums. Yes. Okay. If it is on periodontal disease. Yes. It's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a sign of periodontal disease. So we are going to discuss it. So that's what we have next. Thank you for coming. I hope to have you same time next week. Alright. Okay. Um, so yeah. We can't wait to come. <laughs> So as you can see, the viewers, we've learned a lot, a lot, and a lot. And we can't wait to have the same time next week. And I also want to encourage our viewers and our fans, please don't just watch alone, share with someone, comment. If you have any question, drop it at the comment section and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And um, don't forget to also subscribe. It's Miss Tiana TV Shows, so Miss Tiana TV Shows. On Facebook, you can follow us at Hashem Dental Akosomo. And if you have any question, also, if you also want to call us for our services, our numbers are on the screen below. You can call us, and then trust me, we will give you the best treatment you could ever have. So, so I see you same time next week. Don't forget that this is your aura here with Hashem Dental. Bye. 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 <laughs>